What's going to happen with the weather, Dan? Most of the serious rain is going to hold off until Sunday. Just really isolated rain coverage tomorrow night. Not much rain coverage tonight, and also excellent for Friday night football this evening. Very warm, not characteristic of the start of October. In fact, it's going to feel more like an early September football game tonight. But there is a cold front on the way. This is with a system in the plains, and that's going to move our way and bring about rain again primarily on Sunday, and also a big drop in temperature when the weekend's all said and done. Forewarned live Doppler radar. We had some showers before. Those have dissipated, so we're dry now. We're mostly sunny. And here's a live view outdoors. We've got sunshine for just another few minutes as we take a look at the roads now in Nashville. And it's I-65 at Wedgwood. And so the sun goes down in just a couple more moments. And then you can see actually the sun setting over in Cookville, just a pretty sky. And once that happens, temperatures will fall off even more. Still 75 in Sparta at the Finley Elementary School. We got all the way to 86 degrees this afternoon. And in fact, that's where we topped off at, at the Nashville airport. In Nashville right now, at the airport, it's 82. Dew point 66, so still plenty muggy outdoors. On Sunday, we start to lose some of that humidity, and you'll notice a big change in humidity outdoors come Monday as well. 79 now in Pegram. We've got 79 in Pleasant View. It's 77 degrees in Dixon County and White Bluff. Just a touch cooler in Crossville at 74. Mid 70s in Cookville. But notice back to the south and west, still lower 80s for Camden, for Jackson, and for Savannah as well. While we're talking about numbers, we give you the latest right now on the pollen count. And as we've emerged from September into October, it is starting to fall. Now it's just low to medium. The count is 4.8, still thanks to grass, elm, and ragweed as well. So mostly sunny for the next few moments and mostly clear once the sun goes down. Notice there's thunderstorms back in the plains, still many hundreds of miles away. So again, mainly Saturday night into Sunday is when the main uh, system arrives for rain. There's also a cold side of this storm. Temperatures this morning in the teens back into parts of Wyoming with very heavy snow. And now blizzard conditions continue in western parts of the Dakotas. And in fact, we'll have some cooler air temperatures bottoming out in the 40s in your forecast as we transition into this week. The latest on Karen right now, you can see it in the Gulf of Mexico. Max sustained winds at 50, and this is going to hook to the north. It will mainly have an impact on the Florida Gulf Coast, but not here in Middle Tennessee as it heads off toward the Carolinas. So future cast tomorrow, notice just isolated showers and storms. 88 for the high temperature tomorrow afternoon after a morning low of 65. Then to count on some rain moving in on Sunday. Sunday morning out toward the Tennessee River by midday in Nashville. Some showers developing. The Titans game, if it doesn't start wet, it really should end wet. So plan on some rain gear turning cooler by Sunday evening. High temperature 76 on Sunday. And then feeling like fall for Monday as the showers move out early. Most of the uh, parts of Middle Tennessee Tuesday and Wednesday morning, even Monday morning, will dip into the 40s for low temperatures. So a massive change in temperature is just around the corner. Dan, thanks.